Hi, I'm Michelle Gordon. I'm the author of the Earth Angel series and the Visionary Collection, and I wanted to talk about my favourite motto as an independent author, which is, simple is best. So I know there's a load of different software and tools and gadgets and all sorts of things that, you know, have promoted to make things easier, but a lot of the time they just make things more complicated. And the last thing you want to do is complicate things when you're creating entire worlds and characters and plots and languages. You want to keep things as simple as you possibly can. So one of my favorite tools, which is a piece of software, but it's a very simple piece of software and it's also very inexpensive, is called Scapple. Now I've blogged about this before, so if you've seen my post, you'll see how much I love it. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the ways I've used it um, and how I'm discovering new ways to use it all the time. So the software is basically a digital mind mapping tool. So it's, it's just a white screen <laughs> and you double click and you add text and you can put them in bubbles and you can, can connect them to each other. and. You can do all sorts of things. And in the beginning, I was using it because I couldn't find an easy way to create a family tree. It seemed simple enough. I just wanted a simple family tree. I didn't particularly want dates on it. I just wanted the names of the characters so I could keep track of the generations and who was who. And all of the software I found was really, really complicated and expensive. And they only did family trees. So I found this piece of software and created a family tree very simple, basic, um, and this was for the doorway to Pam in the visionary collection. And it just made things easier because I'm very visual um, as a writer, so I need to be able to see things to figure out how to do uh, the plotting. And then more recently, the other ways I've been using it is to actually plan, I'm not that I'm particularly into plotting and planning, but I was planning out the rest of the series for the Earth Angel series. It's um, going to be 13 books in total, which I probably shouldn't admit that here because that might change, you never know. But as it stands, this is the plan. So it helps that you can just move things around, you can add things, you can, you know, change the wording of things. The other thing that I've used Scapple for is to create infographics for my blog. This one was to explain the sequence of the books in the Earth Angel series because it's a bit unusual. Um, so you can put pictures in there and you can you know, move them around. So obviously as more books come into the series, I can move this around to accommodate that. And then I don't plot or plan my books beforehand, but what I do in the editing process is I create timelines. So I figure out what's happening when in the book and what chapter, and I, and I create these timelines so that when I write the next book, if I'm saying that something was two years ago, I can check on the timeline and say, well, was it two years ago? So, you know, I've created timelines here for the Twin Flame books, um, so you know, you can, and you can have quite large <laughs> um, layouts here, so I mean you can have layouts go down and then you can just print them out. I mean, I like to print them out so that I've got copies of them, but you can just keep them on the computer as well. And then the most recent thing I've been using uh, Scapple for, because basically as the series gets bigger and there's more and more characters, I'm getting confused about what I've said about each character at what point. So I've actually been creating character maps and each character, I've listed what books they're in, what books they're mentioned in, and what happens to each character in each book. So it's basically a summary of the books from the, from the character's point of view. So this is helping me to go, well, hang on a minute, did I say this about this character or whatever? Because there's been a few times where I've started taking a character down a certain path and then realized that something that I said in an earlier book meant that that was not possible. So there's loads of different ways that you can use Scapel, and it's one of my favorite, favorite tools. I would definitely recommend it because it's simple. You, there's no learning curve whatsoever. You double click, you start typing, that's it. So yes, there are loads of other software out there for mind mapping and there's ones to create family trees and ones to create timelines, but there's always something a little bit less intuitive about them. They're, you know, they're more complicated than the simple click, drag, drop and all the rest of it. So. If you're looking for a really simple tool as an author to keep track of everything, then I would check it out.